Well, in the race for the White House, the latest CBS News poll of likely voters finds former President Trump slightly ahead of President Biden, 51 to 48 percent in a hypothetical 2024 rematch. Now, that poll came out yesterday, along with another survey that has more unhappy news for the Biden campaign. Nancy Cordes is at the White House. Nancy, good morning. What's been the reaction to these polls? And Marie, even some Democrats can see that they've got some work to do based on what they're seeing <clears throat> in these new polls, starting with the fact that the front runner for the Republican nomination, Donald Trump, currently has a major edge over President Biden on two key issues. First off, the economy. In our CBS News poll, only 18 percent of likely voters said they'd be financially better off if my, Mr. Biden wins re-election. 45% said they'd be better off if Trump wins. When it comes to foreign affairs, only 31% think President Biden's policies would increase peace and stability compared to 47% for Trump. And here's why uh, President Biden is struggling. You look at the poll and it finds that 73% say things are going badly in America right now. That's up from 65% at the start of the year. So voters just don't feel great about where things stand right now, despite the fact that we have seen months of strong job growth and shrinking inflation, Anne-Marie. You mentioned that the CBS News poll isn't the only one showing bad news for the president. What do we see in some of the states that, you know, could possibly decide that this election? Yes, uh, you're looking at a New York Times poll uh, that came out that was really startling over the weekend. And it found that in, in six battleground states that President Biden won back in 2020, well, in five of those states, he is now trailing Pre former President Biden. And in some cases, uh, outside the margin of error. You can see there trailing by 10 points in Nevada trailing 48 to 43 in Michigan, 48 to 44 in Pennsylvania. Wisconsin was really the only battleground state where he had a slight advantage of two points. I spoke to uh, some Biden campaign officials over the weekend. They insist that uh, this is not alarming. They said that former President Obama was trailing in some polls one year out from his own reelection day as well, and things turned out just fine. Uh, but the reality is that they have already spent millions of dollars to try to convince Americans that um, he's had a very successful tenure when it comes in particular to the economy. So these polls would suggest that that messaging still isn't getting through. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, Nancy, thank you very much. You're welcome. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds is expected to endorse Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for president at a rally later today. DeSantis has long been expected to win the coveted endorsement. The two have been campaigning together extensively in Iowa. Most polls show DeSantis falling behind former President Donald Trump, but this endorsement could give him a much-needed boost as the race heads into the final stretch. And we're going to have team coverage of Election Day on America Decides tomorrow as results start trickling in. You can stream that at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on CBS News.